Hello, my friends. My name is Dadcraft73, and welcome back to another episode of our One Block Sky Block Let's Play series. Oh, man, I hope you're having a good day. Hope you're taking care of yourself and you're doing all right. That is for sure and for certain. Today is Villager Day. It's the Villager Grind. I'm super excited. We've got to do a little bit of cleanup work. Specifically, we need to clean, we need to, well, we need to build a fence. I think we're actually going to build a wall. Uh, I thought maybe like a stone wall might look kind of cool and we can like run it uh, like maybe right here to like the edge of this building. Like I don't think these uh, villagers will ever need to like go back in there. We'll run it to the edge of this building and then we'll pick it up over here at like the edge of maybe hmm, run it to this edge and then maybe we'll pick it up like, you know, here or something and just run it back to the backpack. I also think we should probably have like a border around the outside, uh, around the outside, around the outside of this area, just in case, uh, you know, the villagers decide to get all like uh, out of control and, you know, skate off. <laughs> uh, I've got to go down into our super secret. No one knows about this place except for you and me and us and them. Uh, we're going to go down in here to our super secret cobblestone generating facility and see how much cobblestone we have. Not very much. Okay, that means I'm going to have to do a little bit of grinding to get that done today in the first part of this episode. We're going to need a bunch of cobblestone because to make a stone wall, step number one, you need uh, stone. I'm also going to spend... I think I might do that first. Listen, I'm going to go over here. Uh, my inventory is out of control. I had this vision. Uh, and I don't. We're not going to get to it today, I don't think. But I had this vision. You know how, like, sometimes when you're in the shower and you're thinking about Minecraft and you're like, oh, man, what can I do in my Minecraft world? Is that just me that does that? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But anyway, I was in the shower and I was saying, you know what would be really cool? Because I was thinking about these chests that live right there behind me and I don't like those chests and I was thinking you know it'd be cool if we had like a spot kind of like our little trash can area like uh, this little area here where we could just like throw stuff in it but instead of throwing it away like maybe like a mine cart would come pick it up what is that guy doing a mine cart would come and like pick it up and take it to an underground storage facility made out of I don't know blocks <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think that would be kind of fun. Like, there'd be, like, a minecart, and maybe, like, we could have areas above the platform that the minecart would come up and maybe drop some stuff off. We could have different minecarts carting around. I think it would be kind of cool. I'm, uh, I think I'm 100% down with that. Let me see what's happening over here, though. Why is, um, this guy here? Hello, sir. Why are you carting around over here? You were supposed to be getting burned up in lava. I don't have anything to, uh, deal with you here. Um, let's not do that. I don't know what he's doing. He's like walking all around. Okay, so I have to deal with that guy because that's uh, turned off my iron farm, which I'm probably pretty good for iron, but we're going to need initial amounts of iron to trade with our villagers. Okay, so step one, I'm going to grind out a bunch of cobblestone. Well, step one, we're going to get rid of that guy. Step two, I'm going to grind out a bunch of cobblestone, and then I'm going to smelt it, and then I'm going to bring you back, and we're going to put in just like a really rough like outline of what this... Um, what our area is going to be like. The other thing that we're going to do is get rid of all of this. All of this has to go because we're going to move our crops in today's episode into a more like villager area friendly setup. Yep, it's going to be back back there. We're going to have like a, a crop farm back there. Uh, we're going to try to make it maybe organic. You know, like irregularly shaped. I don't have any room in my inventory. Sweet mercy. Okay, let me deal with all the things I need to do. And then I'll be back with you in just a second. So I've been sitting here and just mining away at the one block for a while. And I didn't even know that this guy was here until I went to sleep because it was nighttime and he was laying in the bed. So let me see what this guy has to offer us. Uh, a frog. Mm, a frog. Do we want a frog? Spore blossom? A scoot? Mm. I mean, I kind of want a turtle helmet. Is that enough to build a turtle helmet? Is that how you make a turtle helmet? That would be kind of cool to have a turtle helmet and get it all enchanted up. Do we need beetroots? No. Copper? No. Calcite? No. No. I mean, we definitely... I mean, we could... I mean, uh, we should get these. Is that how you make a turtle helmet? <laughs> if I can get a turtle helmet, I'm going to be looking super sweet. Turtle. Turtle helmet. Turtle. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, where's that guy? Let me go find some iron. We'll do a little bit of trading with this guy really quick. Man, I've just been grinding away. I was hoping that he would have something that I really need. I don't know. I don't know really what that is, but it would have been nice. 
or we haven't really been getting any like good stuff from these traders and i don't even know how to get the stuff that we need maybe you guys know maybe we can trade for them who knows we'll see all right here we go boom we'll have all those and then we'll get a bunch of these okay we'll put these oh we'll put i'll put maybe i don't know where we'll put these these are really cool do we need anything else do we want some uh some tadpoles maybe can i get do we have enough to get uh that's just one tadpole, I think, right? All right, let's put that in there. Let's see. Hello, sir. You're not going to unlock any more trades. Okay, we do. <laughs> let's see. You're not going to unlock any more trades, right? It's it's like a it's like a fake out. You think, oh man, he's going to get more trades for us, and then he never they never do. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're going to get from this guy. Let's get some frogs. Okay. All right. I mean, that's that's a pretty big win. Some frogs, you know. Huh. I could take these frogs. I can't. How do I get them into the nether? Take them to the nether and they could eat magma cubes and uh, make me frog legs. Not that I think we really need any of that stuff. Okay. I don't I don't need any more of the rest of this stuff. I think we're in good shape. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's put these. Let's put these. Good, oh, you know what we should do? Let's take one of these. I have a perfect spot for this thing since we've got it. We might as well use it since we have it. Let's go sneak around here. Does it have to go on like a tree branch or can it go like, can it just like hang from the ceiling? <gasps> it can. Look, now we have this cool effect. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh man, I feel like I need another one somewhere. That's pretty cool. Well, where can we put this other flower? Do we have a spot that we can put it? Just like hang it from something? How about like, I don't know. Let's just keep it for now. But I like that one back there because it makes our little alleyway look a little more like, I don't know, spooky or something. We have to deal with the. Uh... Oh, and then okay, we don't even. Oh, we have a hat. Let's um. Let's make a turtle helmet, because if you don't know anything about turtle helmets, the best about thing about turtle helmets, it's plus two. It's the same, right? But when you put it on your head, at least with my skin, you can, <laughs> you can't see. You have to zoom in way like this and look down at people. <laughs> That's what we're gonna be wearing for now on. Okay, so we've we've done all of that work. I haven't done any of my grinding. That guy's like rolling all around, having a good time. I haven't done any grinding for uh, cobblestone. So I'm gonna get working on that, and I'll see you in just a second. So I grinded up a whole bunch of cobblestone, and then I went over there to our smelting room. I changed out some lights on the inside of that thing. Uh, used some of my uh, lanterns that I had, and. I have a whole bunch of different kinds of blocks. So I was just sitting here trying to think of where the fence needs to run. And I think what we're going to do, we are going to have to navigate this step, which I think is okay. I think it's all right. Everything seems to be going fine over here now that we got rid of that golem, by the way. Uh, we just use the water bucket to... <laughs> Anything that goes over the edge never comes back. It's like uh, the, the best recycling ever. Okay, so I think we're going to make like a little curl here, right? I was also thinking, what do you think about this idea? I might be like a Minecraft genius. I, th <laughs> I mean, uh, I do have a fancy hat. Um, I'm thinking we're going to make a river. Uh, maybe not today, but I was thinking maybe it would be kind of cool to have like a river that kind of runs, you know, like down through down through our little area here and then we can build lots of trees around it's going to be amazing i'm super excited maybe a bridge or you know who, who knows what we'll end up doing but it'll be fun and exciting but for now let's not we, man, we've talked about a lot of things that we're going to do in this world an underground storage system where the mine carts pop up randomly and drop items off at places that we need them to <laughs> oh man all right let's start like right over here all right calm down Calm down, please, Dadcraft. Okay, so we're going to go um, maybe like he, here, okay? So, well, the first thing we want to do, let's just get a little bit of fence uh, going on like right, right there. I also have some uh, cobblestone walls that we can put in there occasionally. Here, let's knock out one of these. There we go. Put that in there like so. Okay, so this is going to now uh, go down all the way, connect down there, and we're going to try to ring the entire area. You know, maybe there was one time where we just like fell asleep in real life and walked off the edge, so we sh we shouldn't we shouldn't really do that uh, anymore. Okay, so anyway, let's uh, start right here, and uh, maybe we can go. It's going to be like a too high wall. I'm going to go for like broke down. 
uh, and sort of dilapidated. So maybe what we should do is let's just get uh, like the 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 whisper <laughs> of what this wall is going to look like placed here in cobblestone blocks, and then we can come back in and detail it. Uh, it's not super exciting detail kind of work. All right, so we're going to run it all the way over there and um, make it reach. Okay, and then maybe like so, and then we'll end it literally right here. Okay, like that. Because we're not, we don't need, because we, we, we I, I kind of like this lake area being its own thing. I think that looks kind of cool. I just didn't know what that was there for a second. Uh, so I think we're going to go like that. And then we're going to come around to this side. And maybe start this thing like, you know, like here or something. Yeah. And we'll bring it back like to like somewhere like that. And we're going to have this wall continue around the outside. So around the outside. So that's what we've got going on. I cooked some more pork chops, by the way. So that's going to be where the wall is. And what that and the village are going to be essentially free roaming in here. They're going to be able to do whatever they want to, go in and out of their houses. We're going to have beds here in the bunkhouse for a couple of them. We're going to move the beds from there. We'll tear down this fence that's around here. Uh, maybe get rid of that golem that's inside the house there. But then this is going to be sort of the divider. So villagers are going to be able to be on this side. This side of the uh, base is going to be super alive. That side, uh, the villagers that are over there are going to just generate us iron. And we're going to keep it like that. That's my plan, at least. I think we're far enough away over there. So I've got a lot of work to do, but let me show you how we're going to build this wall. I've, I've kind of built this wall design in the past, and we're just going to try to use what we've done uh, then we're just trying to make it so our villagers can't get out. Okay, that's all we're really focused on doing. So we can do things like, okay, so like this is over here. Maybe this has to be too high at the connection point, and then we'll put like a fence, like so, right? Then maybe we'll put in a couple fence pieces like that, and then maybe like a a thing like that. Okay, and then we'll put in a connection point there. Maybe we'll run a couple more over there. And then in this corner area, uh, we'll, we can go just like something like that. All right. And then I think we have to make sure that we protect these areas. Um, I have a couple slabs rolling around just like that. So the idea is this wall is going to look like somewhat like broken and dilapidated, but still like you can't get over it, even if you're if you're a villager. All right. You can't get across this wall and and that gives us a, a cool little design and it breaks up the base a little bit so that's my plan i'm going to work on that for a second i'm also going to then get a bunch of uh, leaves i think we're going to farm up some uh, oak trees and get some leaves and do a little bit of decoration along the edges of the wall maybe some grass and stuff like that let's do it upright let's make like the best wall ever so let me do that and i'll see you in just a second well, we've reached that point where I believe it's the moment of truth. But I have to just show you the majesticy, majesticy, majest, the majesty. Yeah, I think that's right. The majesty of this wall. I love it. We spent a little bit of time doing a little, you know, just a little landscaping, some some grass and flowers and leaves and things like that. Grew a couple big old uh, oak trees back there because uh, we like to do that kind of stuff. And, man, I think this looks really good. Here's our pass-through point. We're about to let these villagers out. They're going to be so happy. Uh, but here's our pass-through point. Let me eat something really quick. Uh, we pass through right there and get to the other side. The villagers can't come through here uh, like that, right? I think we're going to be okay. The only thing that I'm a little worried about, and I don't think villagers do this, I mean, maybe you guys know for sure. I think we'll be okay. We have a couple spots, like right here, right? Like, well, the village, I mean, I bet they will. <laughs> They're so shady sometimes, these villagers. I mean, obviously they can't jump over there, but I don't know what I'm walking up on there. What am I walking on that? Because that didn't connect. It's like an extra little thing. Listen, I, I don't know. I've been just running around here looking for spots where potentially... Okay, yeah. Now they can't. They can't go. 
mean, I could go maybe, but they can't jump like that. So I, I guess I've just been like testing the fence. Remember like in Jurassic Park where that guy was like, the raptors, they're testing the fence. <laughs> That's what I've been feeling like over here because I don't want and my villagers to get out because bad things. I mean, they, they, they can't jump there. I mean, I guess technically they could probably, yeah, they might be able to jump up there. Hmm. All right. And we just have to, like, be smart about what we're doing here. I mean, like that. I, Oh, I can jump up there, too. All right. That's not good. Let me get rid of this. Now can I? No. Okay. Can I go this way? I mean, I can. Man, I, these, I know. That, like, I don't know. Are they going to be, like, running around testing the walls to see if there's spots where they can get out? Like, they can't get out here. I can't even jump up there. Um, I guess it's these things that are a problem. Maybe we shouldn't have them. I mean, like, on the bottom level. Yeah, yeah. but anyway, that's what we were doing. I'll, I'll go through and clean up all of those things, make sure they get, like, out of there. Like, I don't think the... They, they can't... They won't jump... Like, I can... That's... Yeah, that's no good. Yeah, this has might have been, like, a bad idea. Yeah, let's take this out. Maybe we'll put these in, like, up top or something like that. Like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen, you guys are about to be free. They're going to be so happy. Of course, we don't have any crops or anything for the farmers, but that's okay. We'll get some. Let's see, we, we could jump up there. Man, I could get out. These things, these trap doors, it was such a good idea, but... Oh, man, I can still get out. Why? How can I get out? Yeah, see, we have to be careful. This, this block lets me get on there, and then I could jump out. Yeah, so I don't know. Like, I guess if we find villagers, I just can't. I'm afraid, like, if one gets out, they'll all be, like, running all around. There, we'll just do some stuff like that to make sure. Like, nothing can jump over there. I mean, I gotta, like... Uh, I mean, villagers may not try to do this kind of stuff, but, man, you never know. Villagers can be a little on the shady side, um, I've heard. Okay, so we've got all this going on. This is awesome. We've essentially done the same sort of decoration on the outside. Uh, it looks about the same, okay? Uh, we grew those big trees over there. I think we're ready to let out our, our guys. I think we can let them out. And they're just going to go running all around. We don't have any workstations yet. I think we should, before we do that, we should make uh, a couple workstations. Like maybe a... Because if you have a villager, they have a job, right? And they have some food, they'll populate the city. And that's really what we want them to do, right? We want to populate and start raking in um, the ability to trade with stuff. Like I'll grab this. So if I make really quick... I'll grab this. Do I have um, the stuff? Yeah. So if I go like this, right, I can get one of these. Okay. Then uh, I need... It's just one of these, like so. And can I make a grindstone now? Yeah, grindstone. Okay, there we go. We have one of those, one of those. And then what's the other thing? The other thing is a blast furnace. Okay, blast furnace, we can't make... Wait, I don't have the, the parts. I mean, we can make it really quick. I was trying to make a... Uh, do we want to... You know what we should do? Uh, let's... let's. No, oh, we can't sleep. Okay, let me see. Do I have cobblestone? I do. Do I have anything to burn? I do. Okay, let's... um. Let's go over here. Let's just go... Let's do it right here. So we'll make... Oh, you know what? I do have furnaces. I just remembered. Man, okay... Listen, we, we put furnaces in our in our blacksmith place over here. Okay, so let me go over here really quick. We'll put this in here. Uh, one, one, two, three. Yeah. And then we'll smelt them up with, like, sticks or something and some saplings. Whatever we end up doing will be perfectly fine. Maybe some of these trap doors is going to let all my villagers out and run all around the place. But then we're going to let the villagers go, and I think we're going to start, like, having stuff going on. All right, so we'll put, um, just like in a regular blacksmith, we'll put this, like... Like here? Yeah. Okay. How's this stuff doing? Okay. This is going to be enough? I think so. Let's just be sure. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then in here, we'll put our smithing table, like back here in the corner. Like that. Okay. That works. And then we have, we're have we going to make a blast furnace. Let's go make that now that we have these other blocks make the blast furnace and then we'll have all of our sort of like iron trades taken care of and we'll be able to uh level up some of these villagers 
Uh, but we only have one, I guess, technically. Blast Furnace is right there. Boom. Okay. Not sure where we're going to put the Blast Furnace. Let's sleep. I've been having, I've been playing for a long time tonight. Uh, it's been really fun. Uh, I don't know. I've been struggling a little bit, like getting inspired to play. Uh, I don't know. People, I, I guess you just go through uh, those those times every once in a while. Everybody, every Minecrafter does, even if regardless if you're making content or not. We'll put that there, right? And then, okay. But anyway, I've been really enjoying playing this evening. It's been really a good time. All right, so now I think we can let these guys out. Uh, we've got the wall all around the outside. We've got it lit up over there. So these guys can come running out and explore their new home. Man, I'm so excited. Come on, guys, look. You guys like all trying to work over here or something? We have to take their uh, workstations and put them somewhere else. Look, what's happening? Look, where are you going? Oh, hello, sir. Here, I want to take uh, maybe some of these beds. Look, we have storage over here. <laughs> we never even fill. Yeah, we're going to reclaim this house as our own. Let's take um, the beds. Uh, maybe we'll leave one bed here. Okay, like this. And then we'll put these in the bunkhouse. Hello, guys. Come on. Come with me. Look, you have a whole village. Yeah, that guy's out here. He's like, hey, man, check me out. I'm out here looking around at stuff. Look, you guys can come all the way over here. Here's the bunkhouse. And we'll go upstairs. We have this little area. Let's put another bed there, maybe. Maybe we can get another bed there. I mean, that's however many. That's like nine beds upstairs in the bunkhouse. And then we can put, like, bed, 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 like that for now. Now we have tons of beds over here. Okay, why aren't they coming out and going to work? Listen, I made this whole area for you, you crazy villagers. Please, come on. Come on. Look, you're supposed to be running around. Why are they, like, upstairs? Come outside. Don't be don't be scared. Let me take these. I'm gonna take these. Oh, um... Okay, I'm a little scared of that guy. Let's take this, and we'll put this, like, over here. Okay, there we go. Are these are they too far away? Maybe. No, okay, that guy found his. Maybe this maybe this blacksmith is too far away. Um, and we've got to like get it closer so he can actually see it. I mean that I mean I've seen villagers like find stuff like from a million miles away, so I don't know what this guy's doing. Here, come over here, sir. Would you Yeah, okay, you can see it now. Come on, guy. Do you want to be that that guy? Okay, what are you? What kind of trades do you have? Okay. You don't have a great trade. All right, come with... Uh, Do I want to trade with him? Okay. Here, bring this. Are you? Are, do you see another another thing now? Do you see it? Okay, I think he sees it. I have to get him over here. Okay, there he goes. Now he's going in there, and he's going to become... Let's shut the door. You're going to become a... Man, oh, this is like straight... <laughs> this is straight to the, the emerald stuff. Okay, I mean, that's good... That's, I didn't realize that maybe the villager trades is, trades were going to be a little bit off. So we're learning stuff. We have this. We have that. We have that. We, I mean, we have a good many emeralds. We have those. We have those. Okay. Uh, we have these. And man, we, have, we have stacks on stacks. Okay. Any in here? Yeah. Okay. Let's go trade a couple things with these villagers. Here, can I like put uh, like some of this stuff away? Sure. Okay. Are they going to give me other stuff? Have we, like, waited this whole time waiting to be able to trade with villagers? And we're going to be raking in other stuff from them? Hello, sir. How are you? Let me see. Can I have some hats from you? Okay, well, you're that guy now forever. Why don't you have, like, an iron trade? I just spent all this time making an iron farm, sir. Okay, I don't really need any of these. Um, let's just throw them on the ground for a second. Bear with me. I thought, I don't know what I thought, that we were just going to be able to have, like, an easy iron trade with these guys. Why would we make an iron farm? Okay, hello. I'm here to trade some more with you. Okay, he's going to unlock. Okay, hold on. We'll see what he's got now. I literally do not need any of this stuff. Thanks. 
Okay. What do you have now? Okay. You're discounted already. Okay. Let's just uh, let's just trade. I mean, are we gonna have to have like an army? We're gonna have to get. Um, I do not. I mean, I can smelt these up. I guess I don't really need iron from anything. Okay. Here. Oh, I picked up all these hats again. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I watch that Dancraft guy, and he's the best at Minecraft. He just throws stuff on the ground and picks it back up. Are you in here working still? Oh, now you're one? Okay, there we go. Okay, now what are you going to unlock? Why are you so cheap, sir? <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, because this guy's just super cheap. Why is he so cheap? Is it, like, are we, like, supposed to, like, take advantage of all of this stuff? How have I not done this already? Let's just throw, literally, we're just throwing all that on the ground. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me grab this. Okay, okay. Uh, we're going to get some more hats. One, two, three, four. Okay, now that is loaded up. Okay, are you going to unlock more stuff? You are. And all of a sudden, you have boots. Diamond armor that we can get for super discounted prices, by the way. Is that because you were cured? I don't think so. Is that the end? Yeah, uh, I don't know if that's even the end. Let's unlock a little bit more and see. Might as well. We're just spending like one dot, one emerald to do all this stuff. Yeah. So if this is the case, we're gonna have to get like we're gonna have to get really serious about making a crop area. I mean, this is a good learning opportunity for us. Master, man, he's got all the loot. Okay. I mean, that's pretty decent. Okay. Listen, you just uh, do your thing, guy. I'll just leave these uh, on the ground. Don't... Um, if my good friend Wolfen is watching this video, please uh, please ignore that. that. That's just something that has to be done. Okay. Well, like this guy right here, I mean, he's not giving us any discounts. We're going to have to get a big, huge potato farm going on. This guy over here is what? What are you? You're not giving us any discounts either. Can you please get down off there so I can take this and you won't kill me? Here we go. Okay, we'll bring this over here. So now our villages are sort of out and about. Uh, I'll put this one over here. Is he going to come and see? Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully that old stuff despawns. Is he coming out? Where's the villager at? Okay, are you coming? Yep, go to your little home. Okay, this guy has to go. Get rid of him. Okay, he's gone forever. Free iron. Okay. All right, so nothing will spawn in here anymore, which is good. Our guys are over there. They're shooting the breeze. Hopefully, if we give them some food, I mean, we traded with uh, some of these guys. That guy we traded with. We should be able to get more villagers. So I think I'm going to spend a little bit of time trying to increase my village population. I'd like to unlock another guy. Hmm. All right, let me, uh, let me do some stuff. I'll see you in just a second. Okay, well, I've been doing a little bit of trading with these villagers. I've unlocked this guy. He now has golden carrots, which is my preferred uh, Minecraft food source. This guy also has golden carrots, and he has a melon and a pumpkin trade. This guy only has a uh, melon trade, but that's okay. We've been trading with him. Um, we could get other stuff. I don't really know if we need any of this stuff or not, but we can. We could give melons to this guy forever. We have one baby. Uh, I don't Oh, Our other guy's inside working. Uh, it's kind of weird. You're, like, looking for the guys. And then he, of course, has all of this stuff unlocked. So I think we're probably going to have to get more farmers. And I think we're going to have to get a farm just to the... I mean, maybe not even, though. Because if we can get the melon and pumpkins on these farmers, we are going to just be raking in the emeralds. And if our trades are like those trades, then it's not too bad. So we just need to see if we can't get uh, more. We have to increase our villager population. Like at all times, we need to be thinking about that. Like literally over here going, hello, sir, how are you? Would you like some uh, bread? <laughs> Would you like some bread? There, there we go. Okay. Maybe we can have another baby running around here, and then it'll start to grow exponentially. I mean, exp, exp, ten, exp, uh, a lot. It'll grow really fast. 
So now we have a couple things to think about. We have this entire building that's now vacated. Uh, we got rid of the golem that was in here, uh, but we have this entire area. So we might be able to convert this into our storage. But I think the way that this has been feeling so far, this may have to stay part of the village, I think. And uh, we're going to put tons and tons of uh, crops down there. Um, I don't know. I want to get a new... Before we decide to do that, because we might just put, I don't know. I mean, we might build a, a farm down there because I'd like, kind of like to have a windmill. I think that would look good like aesthetically. But what I would kind of like to do is be able to unlock villager trades. Like if you look at this guy, like his first trade, I mean, I think we're going to need some crops to do a little bit of unlocking at the beginning. Unless he's got the bread trade, and then we could just rake it in. But we'll figure that out. So I think we're going to call our episode right there. <laughs> I can't see out of my hat. Man, it's like down over my eyes. But listen, I, I don't know. Maybe I spent too much time building this wall, but we also have to wait for... Let's not look at that. We have to wait more for our village to expand. It's a slow process. We're going to be working on that over the next uh, little while. Maybe while um, between this episode and next, I hope to have a bunch more villagers. I want to have different... Like, I need to get the armor submit. I got a full set of diamond armor, which is pretty sweet. I need weapons. I need tools for free. Uh, maybe we're also going to get uh, some clerics and get some half-decent... Or librarians, I'm sorry, get some half-decent um, enchants. Uh, we got to figure out how to kill the Ender Dragon. So... You know, that's definitely next on our list. Anyway, I think I did good today. I'm pretty happy with the expansion we've done of our area. We built this awesome wall. We've got villagers that are taking care of business. We're doing all kinds of awesome stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my One Block Sky Block Let's Play series where villagers activate. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Look at those dudes. Those little babies just ran in there. Look, they're jumping on the bed. He's standing on the bed. Man, they're out of control already. Look at him. <laughs> Aww. Uh, yeah.